Crash Bandicoot is looking more and more likely to be the next Smash newcomer, we've got more evidence. Block content. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Contents Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And boy, is it a doozy, because we're going to be talking about a character that's very near and dear to my heart, but also one that you guys really want in Super Smash Bros. It's Crash Bandicoot, and there's a really fun post that I wanted to kind of analyze and go through today, and also, it just ups the possibility for this character coming to Smash Bros. There's so much news surrounding this character, also in the circles of Smash Bros. Ultimate, you know, leak speculation, rumors, so yeah, it feels like the perfect time to talk about our little crazy bandicoot friend and I wouldn't want to do it without you guys here for every fun bit of it. So here's something super cool, a lot of you guys asked for this show and it's here, it's called Question Blocked, where I answer your questions about upcoming Smash Fighters, my thoughts on your favorite game, or even questions about, you know, how to start on YouTube, how to make your own content, anything you can think of, send your questions through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your questions live on the show in our next episode. And for for those of you guys who like giveaways, we're giving away two beautiful things. One, a Piranha Plant plushie at 50k, this beautiful puppet boy, and a What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt at 40k. And we're nearing that at blinding speed. So please subscribe to Blocked Content right now, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below why you should have one of these items to enter for the giveaway immediately. So alright guys, let's head right on into this. And the content of this video surrounds this image right here, and it's of course posted by Anonymous, and it says Crash Bandicoot. 2020 posted by JL so this picture already yeah, a lot of people know about this this is a design on a bus and there's also a lot more evidence for whatever this is talking about and if this is real it is talking about a new Crash Bandicoot game and it could follow through within Smash Brothers I'll talk about all of that in this video so he goes on to say the mask in the video it's time to play and that Crash Bandicoot render in the bus posters come from the new game coming in 2020. The game, which was initially known as Crash 8, bears the title of Crash Bandicoot Worlds. The game will introduce three new masks, the Lunar Mask, the Sun Mask, and the Eclipse Mask. Crash will travel around the planet Earth in a semi-open world, similar to Mario 3D World. There will be new enemies such as a hybrid cat frog, a rhino, a wombat, and a rapper monkey. Then the game is developed by Toys for Bob and Vicarious Visions, and since October have started showing it behind closed doors. The announcement will be in December of 2019. Now, that's interesting because that is basically around the corner that is Game Awards kind of season, which I also think will be where we get the new Smash Brothers character announced because we famously got that beautiful little trailer for Joker, the very first DLC character of Smash Brothers Ultimate. So all of it kind of lines up. I think you guys already know where my head's at. If they reveal this game, a brand new Crash Bandicoot game, if this Crash Bandicoot Worlds game is real, then how cool would it be if that announcement either begins or ends with something Smash Brothers, right? So let's go through the information here. It's Time to Play is mentioned. That is, of course, a video that went through a lot of PlayStation stuff and a lot of character stuff, and it had a mask in it, of course, the uh, Uka Uka mask or the Aku Aku mask, and then uh, this render, this brand new image of Crash Bandicoot, that is basically some sort of, you know, invitation. It is a brand new render for Crash, but it's also, of course, very heavily based on the new design for the new games. So it got people thinking, is this for a brand new game? There's two things, two ways that this can go. Either this is a completely separate thing and it's just for marketing purposes and it has nothing to do with a new game. And this person on 4chan is basically selling it to be a brand new game and has thought of this great, you know, new idea. That could all be completely possible. But also, this could be real and we could be looking at the very first evidence of a brand new Crash game. And with that, maybe a Super Smash Brothers crossover because Crash is one of the characters that is, you know, most likely, right? If we're talking about characters, Characters that deserve to be an ultimate and that could, you know, have a very big impact on it. And also, 
if you think about the history between Nintendo, PlayStation, and now Banjo-Kazooie being in there, repping Microsoft essentially, then Crash Bandicoot just feels right at home in that game, especially with all the new games on Switch that, you know, finally bring it home. I think that that's really incredible. Now, all of this together, I'm thinking of one thing, and that is the Crash Bandicoot games that have come out, the Crash Trilogy, the Insane Trilogy, I thought was incredible, but also showed so much potential for the franchise going forward. There were a lot of fan mods that basically took the engine of the game and showed that it could work in more of an open setting. Now, you can look that up on YouTube, it's really incredible work that they've done, because basically the programmers of these brand new Crash games have made it so that you can freely walk around the entire world, and it's a basically a place playstyle that's not really in the game. They designed the levels to be these straight corridors or very simple open, you know, level designs that don't, you know, make a lot of use of a huge open world, but there are people on the internet that have modded the game and made their own stages and even opened up some sort of like beta test stage or an alpha stage that is a lot more open that could serve a brand new playstyle. So it's already basically made, but they just didn't make use of that technology. And I was always wondering, when are they gonna announce that brand new Crash game? They know that the franchise ex is extremely profitable, fans are yearning for it and playing a lot of Crash, and of course everyone who's been playing the racing game has been enjoying it so much because they've been bringing out content every single month, which is incredible for a game like that. So yeah, it was really up in the air if they were gonna do a new one, and if it is this new thing, it's gonna be incredible, and 2020 seems just about right for a brand new Crash game. I mean, it is very daunting for a developer to do very good remakes, you know, and have them be received very well, but then be up for the task to make a brand new game. Because you had that framework, you had the story, you had the characters, you just had to match it, you just had to, you know, polish it up a little bit, and now you have to do something brand new, something that is with the times, and something that competes with games like Super Mario Odyssey, and maybe even stuff like Super Lucky's Tales, you know, char characters, games made even by indie studios like A Hat in Time or Ukulele even. So it's a really interesting landscape now and I want to see where Crash Bandicoot fits into it and if this Crash Bandicoot Worlds thing is real. What I really think is interesting is that the idea here is that Crash will travel around the planet Earth in a semi-open world similar to Mario 3D World. So traveling around planet Earth doesn't mean that we get certain levels inspired by real world, right? I think that it doesn't feel out of theme for Crash Bandicoot because they all always took a lot of real world elements and themes, especially in its enemy design and sometimes the world, you know, the medieval themes and other themes that really look like certain parts of the world. I think that they could definitely do something that feels a little bit more grounded than that. You know, a Paris kind of world that could look really cool. Maybe an Italy style world, Holland with a lot of like tulips and uh, windmills, I think that they could do a really fun idea with that. And of course the idea that it is semi-open, similar to Mario 3D World. So Mario 3D World to me isn't really all that open, um, it is very linear, but I think what they mean is there's backtracking possible and some of the stages are actually a little bit more open. I think that there was a Savannah stage in Mario 3D World that I really enjoyed because you were that Cat Mario character, or Cat Peach or Cat Rosalina, whoever you were, and you could basically just run around the grasslands and it wasn't really all that open you know you very clearly had a path but it felt a little bit more like a classic Mario 64 style game and of course then we got Mario Odyssey and everything changed but the idea that it is not a 2d platformer or 2.5d platformer like most of the old crash games were yeah I think that that attracts a lot of people because it is the thing you love in a new jacket and I think that that is just what the doctor ordered with brand new crash game right as for new enemies hybrid cat frog really sounds like something that that franchise would do you know just make the enemies pretty crazy make a lot of different enemies and also of course make them themed towards the stages that we play because they did that so well in the original couple of crash games especially crash warped which i think was the third game they did incredible theming in that game especially with enemies mixing them with the world so i really want to see more of that um so yeah a really typical rhino character and a wombat i think that they'll do something fun and something different with that a rapper monkey sounds like the thing that i would like to see in a crash game i think it is really cool so 
So the idea of it being Crash Bandicoot Worlds and even having different masks like, you know, Aku Aku maybe changing or this being three different characters, right? The Lunar Mask, the Sun Mask and the Eclipse Mask, um, they sound like basically huge upgrades to me, right? They don't sound like these small things that'll, you know, make you... Uh, change uh, in a very small, insignificant way. I think that these things could be tied to the story, right? And maybe there's some night or day theme going on just by seeing, yeah, maybe you wear the sun mask at nighttime and you basically, you know, make everything light up and you can see certain things better than you could the normal way. So you basically change the way that the stage works because of the mask that you collect. So it adds a little bit of replayability, um, which the Crash games have already, you know, done pretty well with collecting collecting certain emeralds or shards or uh, crystals, I think, that they were called. Um, so you replay the stage just to get that little goodie. And if you replay the stage and you have to not get hit because you have to get that special mask, and maybe you can only collect the sun mask if you have three masks that you collect, right? That always works that way in Crash games. I think that they could do a very interesting thing with backtracking actually being fun because you don't backtrack, you don't, you know, play the game again to see something that you've already seen, you can see the game in a whole new light, no pun intended. So I think that that's really incredible. And just the idea here that we're getting a new Crash game and that it could be announced in December. I'm just thinking Game Awards. I'm just thinking Smash. How cool would it be to see a brand new trailer for a Crash Bandicoot game and then have the announcement finally end with Crash in Smash Brothers with the announcement trailer and everything? Because I think that the chances are super high for this character coming. There are couple of leaks right now that are saying Crash is not the fifth fighter in the fighter's pass, so he could be a bonus fighter, he could not be in the game at all, but I think that if Sakurai is smart and he kind of knows the western audience and what they want, Crash Bandicoot is a shoe in for this game. He fits in terms of style, he fits in terms of moveset, and he even fits in terms of the overall narrative, which is bring in characters that have a rich video game history, and Crash is no exception. I think next to characters like Cloud and Snake, yeah, he's a PlayStation icon and he deserves to be in Smash because that's basically what they do now. They put in icons. So to me, that is an idea that really resonates with me personally. I just want to know if you guys connect with that character. So let me know in the comments down below. Of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think. I read all of them. So please let me know down below. Today's comment question is, do you think a brand new Crash game is coming and will Crash come to smash so super curious what you guys think as for our previous comment question our answer comes to us from josh the thomas fan just dance and super smash brothers saying since it's not gino ryu hayabusa scorpion or doom slayer it could be these characters for who should be the fifth character in the fighters pass but these characters are my predictions and he goes on to say master chief from halo steve from minecraft Lloyd Irving, Crash Bandicoot, of course, we talked about that today, Frisk from Undertale, Rayman, Tracer from Overwatch, Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Cuphead, Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine, Cooking Mama, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Lilac from Freedom Planet, The Neighbor from Hello Neighbor, Black Mage, Ring Fit Female, Dig Dug, Bill from Contra, Patricia from Mighty Switch Force, Shantae from the Shantae games, Waluigi as a fighter, not an assist trophy, Mappy, protagonist from Soul Calibur, Jin from Tekken. So all of these characters are very interesting. There's a couple of them in there that I really like. I think a Contra character would actually be really crazy fun. And there's ways to make that very family friendly and still harken back to that franchise. Cuphead is a character that my brother really wants in Smash Brothers. So I, I would just love to see that happen for him, right? And I think the character would have an original style, maybe even be 2D, which could be crazy. Waluigi, I don't think is happening in Ultimate, but if there's another Smash game after this, they better have Waluigi and Frisk, yeah, more Undertale love, Rayman makes a lot of sense, and ultimately, the character from this list that I want most of all is Master Chief, because there's not a character that deserves to be in Smash more than Master Chief, especially now that we have Banjo, I think that, you know, Microsoft really deserves a character that they actively, you know, really push for, that is their icon, it is Master Chief, that is the Xbox, basically, character, um, and in terms of movesets, that's where I get most excited for Master Chief, because with all the alien weaponry, with all the crazy vehicles, with everything that Master Chief has at his disposal, he's so 
gonna be so much fun in Smash Brothers. So thank you so much for your comment, Josh. Uh, so much fun to read through you guys' comments. So thank you so much. And of course, a huge shout out to our latest Patreon supporters. You guys make block content absolutely possible. If you wanna have yourself created in pixel art or even have a live Skype chat with me, have your own ideas become a video, please go to patreon.com slash blocked content because there's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the Block Content family yet, please hit that subscribe button right now, ring the bell for all the notifications, and the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more Block Content. See ya.